Finally tonight, an act of extraordinary bravery in Afghanistan honored at the White House today. Ray Suarez has the story. In a remote part of eastern Afghanistan, Staff Sergeant Salvatore Junta risked his own life to stop insurgents from kidnapping another wounded soldier. A citation was read aloud describing Junta's gallantry in action. Specialist Junta's unwavering courage, selflessness, and decisive leadership while under extreme enemy fire were integral to his platoon's ability to defeat an enemy ambush and recover a fellow American soldier from the enemy. Afghanistan's Karangal Valley became known to Americans as the Valley of Death, a place that saw some of the toughest fighting of the Afghan war. Was there anywhere in the Karangal Valley that you could have felt safe? Maybe in your dreams. <laughs> For Staff Sergeant Sal Junta and his fellow soldiers in the 173rd Airborne Brigade, it was hell on earth. But the worst night of all was October 25th, 2007. Everything all of a sudden happened. Tracers, bullets, RPGs, explosions, wings, zings, dings, snaps, pops, cracks. About a dozen Taliban fighters ambushed the Americans as they were heading back to base, firing at them from two sides simultaneously. Sergeant Junta's squad leader, Sergeant Eric Gallardo, was among the first to be hit. I fell. While falling is when I got shot in the helmet. I remember thinking, did I just get shot in the helmet? Did that just happen? So you had to get him out of that spot. I was just going to grab him and just pull him back. Before I know it, Junta has come in in the open and he's pulling me out of the open. While saving his squad leader, Junta was shot in his body armor. With no regard for his own life, he then charged once again into the Taliban guns to rescue another American soldier. Sergeant Joshua Brennan had been gravely wounded and was being carried away by Taliban fighters. Joshua Brennan died later that night in surgery, but Sal Junta's actions had saved him from dying in enemy hands, defeated the enemy ambush, and deprived the Taliban of a significant propaganda victory. What kind of soldier are you? I'm average. I'm mediocre. You're mediocre? I mean, yeah. This is only one moment. I mean, I don't think that I did anything that anyone else that I was with wouldn't have done. This is the single greatest honor that the military can bestow on its own. And it comes right from the President of the United States himself. That's pretty good for a mediocre soldier. Think how good the great soldiers are. Tomorrow at the White House, this mediocre soldier will take his place among the nation's greatest military heroes. Today, Special President Salvatore Obama Junta's awarded Junta the Medal of Honor, heroism. the nation's Selfless. highest military award for bravery beyond the call of duty. Junta is only the fourth recipient from the war in Afghanistan and the first living recipient of the medal from the current wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. It is my privilege to present our nation's highest military decoration, the Medal of Honor, to a soldier as humble as he is heroic, Staff Sergeant Salvatore A. Junta. Now, uh, I'm going to go off script here for a second uh, and just say, I really like this guy. <laughs> um, when you meet uh, Sal and you meet his family, uh, you are just absolutely convinced that this is uh, what America's all about. Uh, and it just makes you proud. Yeah, the Medal of Honor reflects uh, the gratitude of an entire nation. In October 2007, Junta, an Iowan native, was stationed in the Korengal Valley, among the most dangerous places in Afghanistan for American troops. ABC News was with the army in Korengal during the fighting, but didn't capture Junta in action. Junta's unit was trapped by Taliban fighters in a maneuver called an L-shaped ambush. He pulled injured soldiers to safety. Then Junta moved to aid his badly wounded friend, Sergeant Joshua Brennan. Junta saw two insurgents dragging Brennan away. He tossed his last grenade, emptied his rifle, and chased the insurgents down a hill. Junta killed one fighter and injured the other, who released Brennan and ran. Still taking fire, Junta pulled Brennan to cover. Brennan later died in surgery at a nearby base. For his own part, Salvatore Junta still wears the label hero uneasily.
It's just one of the many things the young Iowan is still getting used to. We talked with Staff Sergeant Junta this morning before the ceremony. It's strange when, when someone comes and congratulates me. And I have to, of course, okay, this is, this is very good, this is very positive, this is for a lot of things. And it brings back instantly the memory of Specialist Hugo Mendoza, Sergeant Joshua Brennan, and think, you know, that's who needs to be congratulated, and they're not here to take this congratulations. They gave every single one of their tomorrows, and I'm the one that they're going to pat on the back and thank and give a hug. It's, it's difficult sometimes. So this recognition gives you an opportunity to talk about Brennan and Mendoza. It does. I think this represents all those unsung heroes that deserve this so much. This is for them. I, I can't wear this for myself. They're, the President of the United States will give me the Medal of Honor, and I will wear it for every single one of the service members that I have ever served with. Have you thought about the ways your life will change? Because from now on, you're not just Salvatore Junta, you're Medal of Honor winner. You'll be referred to that way, you'll be listed in everything you're listed in. Um, it's sort of become part of your name now. My parents will still call me Sal. My friends will still call me Sal. I'm still Sal. It, it, I, I don't know how else to take it. I mean, like I said, it, it's attached to my name, but the people who know me know that this is for all of, all of them and for myself. I, I got a whole bunch of buddies downstairs, and it's awesome to see them and, and to have you know, all the people I've served with in the last seven years come from all around the world to come to Washington, D.C. And, and be part of this and share this with myself and my family. And it's truly incredible.